Pluto is a far-off and stealthy more humble planet that was once a part of our nearby planetary system. However, recent groundbreaking declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They proposed that this cold world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this work and what might be the consequences of such a titanic event? Are we witnessing an intriguing cosmic anomaly or is there something else to this impending perpetual disaster? Join us as we examine the probable consequences of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet that was later reclassified as a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and focus in the vast universe. As shown by ongoing estimates from leading experts, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised the alarm about a potential hazardous impact between these two planets which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's orbit, uniquely chaotic yet stable. Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit, and since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its unusually elliptical shape, meandering widely from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more exceptional is its inclination, which is tilted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is considerably more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital plan. One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune defying what we might expect from their positions in the planetary system. This leads to the natural question. Why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? Gravitational Influences and Orbital Mechanics The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unique path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities is proof of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in an intricate manner. The terms non-synchronous libration, orbital precession, and VZK oscillation are important in this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is non-synchronous libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from merging. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, offering an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key factor is the VZK oscillation named after three researchers who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational pull influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK oscillation helps explain why its orbit near the Sun is so irregular. Despite Pluto's path appearing whimsical, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The VZK oscillation demonstrates that although things in space may seem turbulent and unpredictable, certain patterns and rules keep everything in balance. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or drift off course. Stability amid chaos the three-body problem is critical in understanding how these orbits change because of the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our local planetary system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually unstable over short timescales with minor deviations in starting conditions leading to huge differences over thousands of years. However, these peculiarities in Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long time scales. Monitoring this disruption has been crucial. 
Later automatic examinations have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only planet at play. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is powerful enough to ensure that Pluto stays on a consistent path for a long time. Perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. Implications of Gravitational Forces These peculiarities are essential in maintaining order and stability in space. Without these elements, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could crash into others or be ejected from their stable orbits triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto especially with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of harmony through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Chaotic but predictable. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of the unpredictability of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions. This is clearly illustrated in Pluto's case. Even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been immensely helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on one another. By tweaking small details in the simulation space researchers can see how even minor changes can greatly affect where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s these simulations showed something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like non-synchronous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable Pluto's orbit can still be erratic and unpredictable. If you start with even a tiny difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a few years. But even with this chaos Pluto's orbit remains stable over very long periods like billions of years. This essentially means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it even though it seems chaotic at first.